Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Let us continue chapter 4, application of differentiation 4.2, extremum problem. Learning outcomes, find the stationary points, identify minimum and maximum points by using first and second derivative test. Example 2. Find the coordinate of stationary points of y equals to x squared in bracket 1 minus x squared and distinguish between relative maximum and minimum point. So in order to find stationary point, we start with the equation given y equals to x squared in bracket 1 minus x squared. What you need to do here is you need to differentiate dy dx. So you can identify your u as x squared and u prime will be 2x while your v is 1 minus x squared and v prime is negative 2x. dy dx, as we know, for product rule, the formula will be u v prime plus v u prime. So we have here our dy dx is equal to x squared in bracket negative 2x plus 1 minus x squared in bracket 2x. At stationary point, dy dx is equal to 0. So you will take this and you equate that to 0. Expand them, simplify and you will get until 2x power of 3 minus x equals to 0. What you can do next is you factorize and you will get 3 value of x which are x equals to 0 x equals to set 1 over 2 and x equals to negative set 1 over 2. So we need to find point using three using these three values of x. The first one, if x is equals to 0, you substitute that into the equation, you will get y equals to 0. So the first stationary point that we have here is 0, 0. Next, if x is equal to set 1 over 2, you substitute that into the equation, you will get y equals to 1 over 4. So our second stationary point is one, set 1 over 2, 1 over 4. Next, if x is equal to negative set 1 over 2, you substitute that into the equation, you will get y equals to 1 over 4. So the stationary point that we got here is negative set 1 over 2, 1 over 4. Next, we need to distinguish between relative maximum and minimum point. Actually, it's up to us whether we want to use first derivative test or second derivative test if it is not stated in the question. For this example, let us use second derivative test. So from the equation we have just now, y equals to x squared in bracket 1 minus x squared, where we use our product rule, we got x squared in bracket negative 2x plus 1 minus x squared in bracket 2x. You can simplify this, you will get negative 4x power of 3 plus 2x. So second derivative test, we need to differentiate once again and here you will get negative 12x squared plus 2. Using this second derivative test, you need to test the value of the stationary point. For example, the first one is at 0, 0. So you are going to substitute the value of x equals to 0 and you will get here your d squared y dx squared value is equals to 2 which is greater than 0. So you can conclude here 0, 0 is a minimum point. Next, you need to test the value of set 1 over 2, 1 over 4. So you substitute the value of set 1 over 2 into d squared y dx squared. You will get here the second derivative value equals to negative 4, which is less than 0. So you can conclude here that the point set 1 over 2, 1 over 4 is a maximum point.
The next stationary point that we have here is negative set 1 over 2, 1 over 4. You substitute this into d squared y dx squared and you will get the second derivative value is equals to negative 4, which is also less than 0. Hence, you can conclude here that the point negative set 1 over 2, 1 over 4 is a maximum point. So, with the example that we have seen, you may practice yourself with exercise 4.2, question number 2 and question number 3. Please submit this question as a proof of your attendance. Thank you.